OK. Although it's possible to work with Naxport without a video source, for the majority of the time, you'll probably be analysing video footage. Because of this, you need a great video player, which gives you full and complete control. And luckily, Naxport has exactly that. In this video, we'll show you the basic functions of the video player and go through some of the more advanced options which allow you to analyse in the way that you want. The video player is integral to Naxport and is 100% integrated into the workflow. For example, clicking on any of your registers, either in the timeline itself or in the table on the left, will play that particular clip in the video player. Your collected clips can also be accessed from the data matrix, the dashboard, presentation playlists, and pretty much any environment in Naxport. This makes your analysis extremely interactive, giving you instant access to the context of your data. OK, let's move on to the options in the player itself. These will be mostly familiar to you, but there are a few advanced features which you won't find on standard video players. First of all, we'll start with this button, which, obviously, is the play and pause button. There's nothing much more to be said here, but, like all video controls, this can be controlled via the keyboard. In this case, the space bar can be used to play and pause your video. These two buttons are used to play the video either forwards or backwards. The important thing to note here is that clicking these multiple times will increase the playback speed. This can be up to five times the original video going forward or three times the speed in reverse. You can also control playback speed with the V and B keys on the keyboard. These icons move the frame either forwards or backwards frame by frame useful for getting the exact frame you want to add drawings to, which we'll talk about later. The keyboard control in this case are N and M. Next to this is the control bar for slow motion playback. Again, very useful when conducting an analysis or highlighting plays in a presentation. Above this is the time slider. You can drag and drop this to any point in your video quickly. You can also input the exact time in your video by clicking on this icon it's important to realise that this relates to the time in the video, not the time in the game that you're analysing. Video playback can also be controlled with the arrow keys. By default, Left and right will produce a small 10 second jump in the video in either direction. Up and down will cause an intermediate skip of 15 seconds. While holding shift and pressing left or right will skip the video a full minute. As we said, these are default times but they can be customised to your tastes by clicking this icon or selecting Keyboard Video Controls from the Option menu. Now, simply click plus or minus to adjust the times. Complete control at your fingertips. This icon allows you to change the size of the video player. Find the option which is most comfortable for you. The size of the player can be adjusted manually we recommend clicking the Keep Aspect Ratio option when doing this. This keeps the original dimensions of the screen. Now, simply drag and drop from the corners or sides. Enter full screen mode by clicking on this icon. To exit full screen, press Escape or click this icon again. Let's look at more options. Checking this option will hide the toolbar.
Checking this option will ensure that the previous playback speed is maintained if you pause the video. This option allows you to add more video angles to your analysis. Click the link in the description for more info about this. This option allows you to overlay the video with information about your registers, such as the categories, descriptors, or any notes you may have added. You can also use the keyboard shortcut T to access this option. Lastly, this icon will open ClipDraw Basic, the default Naxport drawing tool, which allows you to add arrows, shapes, spotlights, and many other things to highlight the action in the field. However, before using this, we suggest taking a look at the full video dedicated to ClipDraw. You can find this in the description. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date with all the latest Naxport news, why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks, and see you next time.